Hello my fellow smug ones, I hope you're all okay. Well well done Rihanna, you probably must have worked your bum off to get there. Let's begin. Okay, this story is from The Sun and it says Rihanna is now officially a billionaire and has been named the wealthiest woman in music. The singer, who's 33, has seen her value rocket to £1.2 billion thanks to her success in the cosmetics and fashion empire. Now, from what I've heard, Salma Hayek is apparently also a member of the Billionaire Club as well. And hopefully, you know, it might not actually be too long before my girlfriend also joins the club. Although, to be honest with you, I've probably got more chance of joining the Mile High Club with a stewardess than that happening. Yeah, I wouldn't mind either way, to be honest with you. Anyway, her grand fortune means she is the second wealthiest female entertainer behind only chat show host Oprah Winfrey, who's 67, apparently. Don't know why they need to tell us that, but she is indeed 67. And that is according to US Business Bible, Forbes. Okay, well, let's see how she made all that money. Rihanna has not released an album since 2016's Anti. And to be honest with you, I'm not surprised. I wouldn't have done either. In fact, I probably wouldn't even ever work again. Anyway, but I've seen her bank balance soar since she launched her cosmetics brand, Fenty Beauty, in 2017. The brand alone is valued at £1 billion, pounds, with Rihanna holding a 50% stake alongside luxury goods giant LVMH. And you know, it was actually also announced recently that apparently Reese Witherspoon also sold her production company, which was worth around, I think it was $650 billion. So, you know, owning a company obviously comes in quite handy, doesn't it? Unless you were obviously the owner of Blockbuster, that is. Anyway, meanwhile, her popular lingerie line Savage X Fenty is worth an estimated £193 million, and the rest of her fortune comes from her bumper back catalogue of hits. She is also the second biggest selling female artist of all time, having shifted 250 million records. Madonna is on top with 300 million, and you know, it makes me wonder if she'll now announce her retirement at the grand old age of 33. Although, to be honest with you, she could have probably done that a long time ago, couldn't she? And I think it's a bit unfair because I've got to wait until I'm 68! 